now Mr. Mizuno is going to record all of the transactions. Instead of using a transaction analysis sheet, we're going to move on and use the T-accounts. You've learned about T-accounts in this activity, and now we're going to do the same transactions that we used before, but now just using a T-account. All right, so the first thing is to record the opening balances for Night Zone. Here are the opening balances and the opening accounts, and I've already got a T-account sheet open, which you've learned about how to open a T-account sheet and other templates in a previous activity. So what we've done here is we've just put the names of all of the accounts, cash all the way down to Night Zone Capital, and their balances. Now please keep in mind that you'll see some extra ones. Extra one says DR account stands for debit account, or CR account stands for credit account. When it says DR account, you're to place a normal balance that has a debit, a normal account that has a debit balance. So for instance, an, an asset, an expense, or drawings would use a debit account. And we've used cash, office supplies, office furniture, equipment, and shelving as debit accounts. They typically have a debit balance. For credit accounts, we use accounts like liabilities, like loan payable. We use capital, like Night Zone Capital. And we may use any revenue accounts later on. But for now, here are all our opening balances. So those were our September 1st opening balances. Now moving on to September 2nd, we purchased $40 supplies for a student council event. So we need to put the title. It's very important as it lets us know which account we're doing and which transaction we're, we're looking at. So for September 2nd, we paid $40. So I need to put $40 on the credit side of the T account. And we bought office supplies. So it's September 2nd. And in this case, we increase office supplies by $40. Now we don't have the asset equals liabilities plus owner's equity equation on this template we did in the transaction analysis sheet, but we'll use another tool later to let us know if the accounting equation holds true. That's called the trial balance. We'll get there just in a few minutes. If we go to the September 3rd, purchase a chair for $100 paid cash. Again, date, September 3rd, paid $100 cash, which is a credit, and it will go under office furniture. Notice how it tallies it up at the bottom. Office furniture has a debit balance of $500, and it should because it's an asset, and assets typically have a debit balance. September 4th, received 1000 cash from the main office to use for the business. So again, the date is important. It's a debit this time as cash is increasing. And it's going to be Night Zone Capital. And that would be a credit. These are the same transactions as a transaction analysis sheet we did previously. September 5th. Received 75 cash for services rendered for the student council. So $75 is debited to cash. And revenue is an owner's equity or a capital account, and it increases our owner's equity or capital. So therefore, we have to credit capital, $75. September 6th. Perform services for the business and French department, $75 to be paid later. So we've done some services, but they haven't paid us yet. $75 is credited. Now we need an account that lets us know that they owe us money. And that account is going to be called the accounts receivable. For short, I'll just put it in an abbreviation. Accounts receivable, and we need to date it, September 6th, 